What the heck is up, you guys? It's your boy Ace, aka Animated Heroes, here back with another pre order update video. And this is one I am extremely excited about. Now, I've been excited all month because it's October, the best month of the year. But when you add action figures on top of that, it only adds to the enthusiasm I have in my videos. Now, once again, we've got some good stuff to talk about today. And you guys know how these videos work. As long as you continue to drop likes, I'm going to keep bringing you guys this content if you're new here or you haven't done it already go ahead subscribe to the channel and let's go ahead and get right into it now i know they say you're supposed to save the best for last but this is one that i have been wanting to talk about for the longest i woke up this morning and tamashi nations announced greatness well not necessarily announced We've all known about this for a little while now, but we finally have not only a pre-order date, but we also have a release date for none other than the Gear 5 Luffy. And I gotta say, man, this figure looks like it comes right out of the anime, and that alone has sold me. Now, this is one I knew I was gonna get from the jump, just because I already know how much fun I'm going to have with this figure, but man, this just looks so dang good, and I am really hoping that Tamashi Nation steps it up, because we all know that the One Piece line has not been the best. There have been some misses. Honestly, I haven't got my hands on Sanji yet, but I'm having high spirits for that one. But this right here, please, Tamashi Nations, don't mess this up with quality control. There are some things I'm a little worried about, like the uh, bendy wires in the arms and legs. But this is supposed to be a goofy, loofy I wouldn't intended that to rhyme, but a, a goofy, loofy form. It's supposed to be kind of wild, kind of crazy, and I really hope that the parts are interchangeable with the uh, Luffy that we already have, but we'll see when the time comes. Either way, this thing looks good, man. These expressions alone, especially in the second or the third and fourth picks on the top, man. <laughs> I want it specifically for those. And then, of course, at the bottom, we got an extra head sculpt for the base Luffy or power down Luffy, which I can hear this scene in my head. I can hear the drum roll and then the joy boy. Like, that's how much of a One Piece fan I am. So um, I'm truly looking forward to this. And if you plan on getting your hands on it, November 1st is going to be the pre-order date and it is going to be releasing in April 2024 so not too long about six months from now give or take so yes be on the lookout this is going to be a difficult pre-order I'm telling you guys right now so make sure you're ready for it coming in next is a figure that we've already seen two times now it is another release of the SH figure arch Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball Super technically it was still Z when this form was announced but basically it's the Battle of God Super Saiyan God Goku and again this is the third time we've seen this figure once again it has new colors so uh, the first time it was more of a lighter ish gi uh, almost like a yellowish color added to the orange then the second time around it was more orange but still very light now this one is actually orange and also the event exclusive which was the second version did have kind of like a translucency to the hair versus this one it, it looks like it's completely painted so yeah and also the expressions on this guy are a tad bit different well, actually, not really. He's just looking to the side. So now from what I've heard, this has something to do with uh, the 10 year anniversary of the Battle of Gods movie, which was when Dragon Ball came back after all the years of being gone. I know we're still waiting on Super to come back. Well, most people are. I don't really care. But um, yeah, another Goku. I guess this was a perfect time for them to reissue slash re-release this. Now, I don't know anything about the details other than the pre-order window. It is supposed to be going up November 1st, and it's going to be releasing in May of next year, 2024. I don't know whether it's going to be an exclusive or not, but considering the fact that this is the third time we've seen this figure, I highly doubt it. This is probably going to be a regular release, but uh, if I do find out any details, 
details I'll make sure to let you guys know but uh, yeah for anyone who missed out on this figure the first one was and uh, it was a web exclusive the second one was an event exclusive so I would think this has to be a regular release like come on now put this out for 35 bucks it's an old mold old figure and I mean it's cool these colors definitely look better than the previous releases but yeah there's no need for this to be locked behind premium Bandai or anything crazy like that so uh, yeah another Goku figure now moving on to some Metacom toy greatness Mofex decided to do their usual monthly thing and announce two more figures that are going to be coming to the Marvel and DC line the first up is none other than the Mafex Black Adam, which I believe we saw on display a little over a month ago, if I'm correct, at some con they had going on in Japan. And as soon as I saw it, I already knew that this figure was going to be amazing. To be honest, I really enjoyed the SH Figure Arts version, but there were some problems. Now, usually, Mafex always does these figures better than SHF. I hate to say it, but they do. They absolutely kill their comic book figures and just based on what I'm seeing the cape alone is going to be so much better than the SH figure arts man that cape was just a, a bother but this looks outstanding now he's also going to come with more lightning effects and more expressions the SHF came with two this one's going to come with three now one of them they could have left out the one that's in the middle where the or the rock is raising his eyebrow I think that's something that he does in WWE but it just kind of became a staple in everything because I've noticed he even does it in his movies I've seen him do it a couple of times in the Fast and Furious franchise whatever it is what it is it's an expression that is for the rock so i'm all for it or dwayne johnson whatever you want to call him but this thing looks good man i think some of these lightning effects come straight from the uh thor figures from Endgame and infinity war i'm completely fine with that this looks exactly like it needs to big beefy brolic and i'm all for it man this is one i am going to get my hands on now it sucks that he doesn't come with the throne we saw him sitting in in the promo image i was really hoping that was going to come with this guy but I knew it was going to raise the price tenfold. And so people skipped out on the SHF. I'm really hoping they don't skip out on this. Although I don't really know anything else they could make from this movie. The other characters weren't all that popular. But I do hope that we get them. Because I think I'll get them all. But overall, man, this one is already up for pre-order. It's slated for September 2024. But you guys know how that goes. With Mofex it's going to get pushed back so it might not come out till 2025 and the same thing for the next figure that i'm going to showcase now out of the two metacom figures that were announced this is the one that i'm the most excited for and i saved this one for last because i got some things i got to say about this one but first off this looks good man a mafex daredevil this is one people have been asking for for quite some time now and i'm so glad we finally have it just looking at these photos you can tell they really went all in on the accessories three different head sculpts and i swear they heard me in a video i made a couple of months back saying that they only do neutral and teeth gritted faces they don't really do any yelling faces because now not only did we get this with a recent figure they just announced I can't remember what it is but now we're getting it with a daredevil too man I swear they heard me when I said that and I promise this isn't something that I knew off of the back end so three expressions I do wish we would have got a Matt Murdock head but as you guys know Mafex tends to re-release figures so maybe Maybe we'll get another Daredevil in his uh, black and red outfit that comes with a Matt Murdock head or maybe even the yellow and red outfit or yellow orange. It's something like that. I don't know Daredevil like that, but I just think he's badass. Either way, this looks dope. Now, I saw some complaints on this saying that it looks like Toy Biz. It looks too skinny. It looks this. It looks that. I'm going to stick with the Legends. And for you people saying that, cut it out man cut it out especially calling it toy biz cut it out mofex has been utilizing these same slim slender but bulky bodies with a ton of their figures now we've gotten it with batman we've gotten it with superman multiple spider-man figures it's something that we've gotten used to and so just because it had doesn't have that big bulkier look that the legends has doesn't make it any less superior because at the end of the day 
let's keep it a buck here. This one's going to pose so much better than any Legends is going to be able to do. And since we're on that, the Marvel Legends 3-pack Daredevil is the same buck that was used for the Renew Your Vow Spider-Man and the same buck that was just reused for the Daredevil 2-pack that are not Daredevil, the Deadpool 2-pack that was released as an exclusive. So don't act like Hasbro's not out here reusing bucks constantly, man. People that are saying that cut it out if you don't want the figure just don't buy it but you can't say this thing doesn't look good now just like black adam he is slated for september 2024 he's already up for pre-order but he'll come out when he comes out either way i already snagged mine keeping things marvel but moving on to another company now we have revel tech who showcased this image about a week or so ago now this is one i was going to make a solo video on but i'm glad we got the news that we got today i just figured i might as well add it into this video here now i gotta be honest man if you guys don't know bucky's one of my favorite characters from the mcu i really didn't dive deep into him much in the comments other than uh what i read by ed brew baker which was absolute fire but this is obviously based on his MCU look which has sold me immediately now I didn't really care for the Captain America the Iron Man didn't get me the Thor looks kind of cool and I really enjoyed the Black Panther uh, so I'm I'm expecting to have a lot of fun with this guy I can't wait until we get some more promo images but as of right now this is all we got no pre-order window no uh, release date anything like that but I'm sold already man I am sold already on Bucky Barnes I need more on this and once I get it I'll be the first to give you guys that news so be on the lookout if you like bucky we got revel tech about to kill it with another one now this is totally a segment that i wasn't expecting to be adding into my video but i literally just saw this about an hour ago and i figured i might as well go ahead and attach it versus putting out another video that lasts three minutes just for a bunch of extra clicks that might not even go anywhere but tamashi nations posted this image on their page and as you can see, it says SH Fig Yards 11 2023 next. Now, obviously, this means they're going to be getting into the next line. And if you're looking at this, you're probably thinking exactly what I'm thinking. These are Tanjiro's colors for his kimono. And, whoo, man. This is one that is in the making, and I need it. Well, I say in the making, I hope. I've heard some people say that it might be Hunter Hunter. I'm hoping not, because I don't really care for Hunter Hunter like that. But at the same time, let's keep it above. Hunter Hunter in 2023 is not popped in nearly as much as Demon Slayer. If Tamashi Nations wants money, Demon Slayer is obviously the market of choice to bring in some big bucks. People are disappointed with Figma. People are absolutely outraged with BuzzMod. What better way for them to collect yet another bag with Demon Slayer? And who I'm telling y'all right now, if that's what it is, I'm selling all of my Figmas, all of my BuzzMods, and we about to make it happen, baby. Let's go. Demon Slayer S8 Fig Yards. Let's cross our fingers. I am waiting for November 1st to bring you guys this video. So I know I haven't really dropped that many videos the month of October just because honestly I've been trying to have fun this month. Again, like I said at the beginning of the video, October is my favorite month of the year so don't expect me to do too much. I literally am trying to do everything Halloween-ish as possible but I promise you guys come November I'm going to try to get back on the grind because I got to get that Christmas YouTube check. But uh, yeah, I do still have some videos coming as soon as I get everything that I plan on viewing or we get some more action figure news i'm going to try to keep bringing that to you guys but i am going to be reviewing the sh figure sanji i'm either going to review that next or i'm going to review uh guts i'm not entirely sure i just got him in today i know it's super late but uh, i'm sure you guys want to see my opinion on it uh and then also sh figure arts orochimaru should be dropping soon so sanji and orochimaru those two definitely be on the lookout for those i don't know if i'm gonna get to guts i'm just gonna have to see about it but uh yeah i'm truly looking forward to those two figures the sh figure arts the batman once amiami finally ships mine after the recall it just kind of messed up everything so i've got videos i want to bring to you guys i just haven't been able to do them so 
Uh, that's not my fault. It's completely beyond my control. But overall, another big action figure news slash pre-order update video. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I want to know, what are you planning on getting out of everything we discussed today? Feel free to drop that in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload do, <laughs> upload this content. And last but not least, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep all of my activity outside of YouTube. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are and uh, peace.